Look at that. Look at that. My cigarette company loves me. It's not even my birthday. I'm getting the card. My sister doesn't get cards from me, but my cigarette company sends me cards and she quit. She doesn't get cards from me. It takes all the fun out of it. But more than anybody, my cigarette company, Natural American Spirits, uh, yeah. Cigarettes. They care about me. They send me things all the time. Little, just sometimes, uh, they'd send a Christmas, a birthday card, and it would have seeds. It would be made out of some sort of pulp with seeds in it, and you could plant the Christmas birthday card in the ground and it would grow something. Yeah, they pretty neat. He used to tell us all kinds of things. That's how I learned that Jonas Salk was uh, the one that came up with the vaccination for polio. And I think it was 1951. They talked about it in one of the cards that they used to have in the pack. I, I got a bunch of them, they're really good. But, uh, you know, it's just sharing of information. And here they sent me something, farm to pack. These people are really going green. And um, let's see what they got me. Look, there's, there's the Thunderbird. You see the Thunderbird? That's their sign. Watch this. I have to change hands. You see that? Do you see that? That's the Thunderbird on my cigarette. That's the damn Thunderbird, El Condor. It was taught. Well, some guy came and gave a speech in Dr. Mira Zussman's class. And he was talking about the Maya and, and the, the, the significance of, um, of the Thunderbird. And if you burned any kind of effigy portrait or anything of it, then you, and prayed into the smoke, the smoke would go into the heavens and the gods would listen. And so I thought that was pretty interesting. And it was time for a break. We were all out smoking and he was a smoker. And he sat there, he just looked like a young guy that wanted to be more important than he was. I only gather this, I would have looked at him differently if it hadn't been for this circumstance. But so outside, I said, so when I smoke, my American spirit cigarette with the emblem of the condor on it. That's an effigy then, right? I said, what if I burn it all the way down to the condor? And he said, oh, that doesn't work. Like, Where do you fucking come up with this? That doesn't work. Now you're going to tell these people what they can believe and what they can't. You just changed your ideas. Your ideas. Just so you could feel like telling somebody they were wrong. So I make it a point as much as possible. Always burn it down to that Thunderbird. Just because you know, who knows what works. But the thing is that I look at these 
peoples, the Amerindians, you know, ah, they're smoking for peace. And they could worship the condor and the thunderbird and all this stuff. And they didn't have problems worshiping the herons and the turtles and things like that either. And so when this priest shows up in the California area and was converting them to Catholicism or yeah, Christianity, Catholicism, they didn't mind at all because they had room for another God. You know, a, 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 a people that has the right to worship whatever they want, whichever God, they can get along just fine and talk about things. Look at Conan the Barbarian, where he and Tsubatai were talking um, about theology. Which God do you worship? Tsubatai says he worships uh, the sky. It has the winds, you know. And Conan says he worships Krom. He's strong up in his mountain of power. And uh, and Subutai says, uh, uh, my God would would kill your God with his winds. He's strong. And they said, oh. So they didn't mind thinking about other gods. But then this priest comes in and says, all right, you only get one. And he started abusing and whipping them to, to get them to fucking go along with it. And you know what? They said, fuck you. I'll just sacrifice you to my fucking El Condoro fucking God when I cut condors all over your skin and burn you alive. They killed the fucker. They turned on him and killed him. He, he's like a, a hero or something now, a martyr. Dumbass. So the thing is, we have all these gods. You're supposed to. It's The problem I has, have is when you only see certain bumper stickers like about God. Just God. There aren't enough... They've got that coexist one with all the different things. I'm like, yeah, they all fucking hate each other. There'd be a real fight if you put them all in one place. What is it, coexist? Bumper stickers. God is my co-pilot. You see that one and I see. I don't know, I think about all the awful things he's done to fuck people up. And I just don't know if I'd want someone like that sitting next to me telling me what to do constantly. Then you got the one that's Jesus is my co-pilot. Now there's Jesus is my co-pilot. Watch this. <gasps> Oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus. I like the idea of Jesus being my co-pilot. He's got some kind of a, you know, you could say he has experience because if you hold it up and he's flying over, it looks like he's flying. And then you come back, which is my $30,000 idea. I got a bumper sticker. After all the accidents I've been in, accidents, yeah, mistakes, um, how I survived them, and I was just like, ha, ah, made it again. I think the bumper sticker should be Ah, uh, death is my co-pilot. At least you know you'd be with somebody that knew how to have a good time. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't wear a seatbelt.